Welcome Dart players one and all, today on Straight to the Point we're going to be reviewing a fairly affordable dartboard. It's made by Designer and it is their professional knife wire dartboard. It can be found on Dart's Corner as part of the professional dartboard range, but it's only £34. Let's take a look. So this is the dartboard we're talking about today. It's the Designer Professional Knife Wire dartboard with no branding on it at all. How clean does that look? The wiring looks perfectly spaced and the colours are very vibrant. But are we looking at a McDonald's menu here? How will it actually arrive? Let's get straight to the first impressions. And the wiring is very well spaced. And they're nice and thin with no staples in it at all. Even the bullseye is very nicely centred. But they did forget to paint it. That's okay though, not to panic, because they did give us a lot of extra paint on the number 2. Looks like it's made of Tipex. And that is not wanting to come off either. It's a bit annoying. You do get the odd spot of glue on the dartboard as well, and there's a lot of paint on the wires. You know, it's not done with a lot of care. You can see where they've saved the money. But when you're back at the oppy, you can't see these anyway. But so far, nothing that would affect playability, which is a good thing. Now, I did notice a little crack right about by here where they drilled the hole and when I put the screw in you can see it's completely uneven it's not straight at all and you can see that crack a bit closer there and with that not being in straight and that crack being there it's just not strong enough to put on the wall so I did have to plug the hole up which is a little bit of a nuisance wasn't too pleased with that I mean you can drill a straight hole I know it's cheap but you can drill a hole surely but it wasn't hard to fix just use some Lollipop sticks, any cheap wood would do. Stick the screw in. I could have put wood glue in it as well, probably should have. If you do have this problem with the dartboard, I recommend you do it, but I'm lazy with things like this, so yeah, did the job anyway. Got it nice and straight. Did stab myself in the hand just then. Sorry for that. But not too difficult to fix. Now let's get to playability, and I must say this plays a lot like a unicorn board. Now, and what I mean by that is if you look at this dart, just put that in slow-mo, as soon as the dart hits the white and the treble, it lands at an awkward angle. It's because the fibres are so compressed where they've pushed the wire in. Look at the two big ones, I know it's an awful throw, but they both land in the same. That is just hanging on in there. And to be fair, it's a very hard dart board. The darts don't go in that far. Especially on the smaller segments. The bullseye is extremely tough. I'll demonstrate that in a moment. That being said, you know, it's not going to stop you playing good darts on it. Still hit 180s, 140s on it. I'll show you that in a moment too. But um, yeah, it's a great practice board. I wouldn't like to use this if I was playing online, which I don't do anymore really. But if I was, I'd feel at a disadvantage if someone had a better board. Like you see with that dart now, it's at the top wire and it's landed a bit awkward. It's very off-putting. I find it very difficult to follow that dart, so I'd end up switching in an actual game. But I'm not using this particular board for work. It's just a practice board. It's not used for competitive darts, so it doesn't matter. Now, to show you how tough the ball is, listen to the difference on the noise and the way the dart hits the board when going for it on the last dart. You can definitely hear there's a higher pitch to it which is because the, the surface is harder. And if I just put my finger on where the dart has met the board to show you how much of the protrusion there is, that point has hardly gone into that dartboard. Now bear in mind I use a very short dart point, 25mm or 23mm protrusion, it's, it's like a nib. So normally my dart goes right up to the barrel or at least halfway even on a brand new very tough board. And when I go for the treble 20 on this it's Still under halfway, it's not going in all the way, but they are still gripping in the board, they're not falling out very often. So, you know, it's just going to mean there's a little bit more work to do in getting the darts to land consistently. Just get a close up of that shot because that was a lot tighter than I thought when I actually hit it. So, all the barrels are touching. But to sum it up, this board's fantastic if you're on a budget or if you're looking for a decent practice board. But I wouldn't want to play competitive darts on it if I'm honest. But that's it for today. Thank you for watching Straight to the Point. Please remember to like and leave a comment. And as always, subscribe if you love the darts. Roll the credits.